So in this video, we're going to be looking at how we can use Revit to draw different shape roofs. Uh, we're going to be using the massing tool, and I've just started this project by drawing four uh, basic walls. Uh, I've set the level to three meters, and the only other thing I've done is I've set up a 2D section, which is looking to the right. So when I open that up, you can just see the end of the wall. It just helps us draw the shape of our roof in place. So to get going then, uh, with this, we need to start off by going into the Massing and Site tab at the top. And on the far left-hand side, uh, yours will have will look like this, where it says Show Mass by View Settings. Just click on it so you've got the little light bulb next to it. Uh, then once we've done that, we can go In Place Mass. Once we're in there, it's going to ask us to name it, so we'll call this one Roof. And once we're in Roof, um, we can now start setting up our reference plane. So in the top left hand corner here, we've got our reference plane button. So we can click on that. And I'm just going to drop down reference plane on the left hand side. And I'll click on where it says click to name. I'm going to call this number one. Uh, you can call it A, B, or whatever you want to call it really. Uh, I'm going to draw another one on the other side, down this side here. And I'm going to call that one number two. So I've now got these two reference planes. I'm going to be using these reference planes to actually draw the shape onto. Uh, so to do that, we need to go into our section one. And we're going to go in the top left-hand corner here, we've got this reference line. So I'm going to click on reference line. And I'm going to click on name. And then change the name so that I can pick up either reference plane one or two. It doesn't matter which one you choose. I'm just going to choose number one. But these are the two reference planes we've just drawn. Uh, so reference plane number one, click OK. And I can now start, here is the reference plane itself, this blue line, that's, that's the, 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 the green dotted line that's in uh, level zero. Uh, so with this one then, I'm going to choose uh, a nice easy one to start with. So start end radius arc. So here's the start, here's the end, and then there's the radius. So we can click on that. And you can now see I've got this green line that comes over like so. If I look at that in 3D, you can see it on the left hand side here. So I've got that green line, and that's going to be the shape of my roof. So what I need to do now is create another one of these up the other end of the roof. Uh, so I'm going to click on it, so it goes blue. Come to the top here, and I've got this Copy to Clipboard tab. I'm going to click on that, so that's now been copied. Go into the Paste, but don't just click Paste. Click on the little arrow below it, and you want to align it to the same place. We're actually going to paste it into the same place as where the one we just copied. When I do that, you get this host and it got this reference plane. So pick that one up and then just change it to reference plane number two. And you can now see it's moved it down to the other end of the roof. So I've now got these two uh, reference planes, one either end. Uh, so with those then, if I click on one, hold down my control key, click on the other one. So I've now got them both selected. In the center at the top here, I've got this create form. Click on create form, and you can now see we've created this uh, shape that we wanted. Uh, so I need, don't forget, for this one, if you're in drawing mode, you need to uh, tick, uh, click on the green tick, which is to finish mass. Ignore the dialog box bottom right. And we've now got our finished mass in place. We can now start drawing our roof. So to do that, we go into architecture. Uh, in roof, don't just click on roof itself, because that would be roof by footprint. We don't want that. So click on the, green, the little arrow below it. And we want roof by face. Click on roof by face. Once we've done that, you can now see when I hover over this form that we drew earlier, I can now click on it and it sends it blue. And then in the top middle here, I've got this Create Roof button at the top. So I can now click on that, and you can now see it's created this roof in here. I can also change the roof. So uh, with the roof selected, I can change it to something different if I wanted. So if I didn't want that one, I could just put the basic one on. Um, and you can also, once you've got the roof selected, you can go in there um, and you can go into Edit Type and you can start changing uh, the materials that you want on there as well. That's been covered in a previous video. Uh, so once that's in place, we've now got our roof done. So the roof is it's still got that form over the top of it. So when you're hovering over it, we can either hover over the roof itself. Uh, so we can see there it comes up the roof. If I hover over the top bit, you can see it's this mass roof. Um, don't need to get rid of that, uh, but sometimes you might want to. So if you click on that, um, you can see it's not highlighted the whole roof. It's just this mass, the, the mass that we drew over the top. Uh, we can delete that and get rid of it if we need to. Uh, don't have to, but sometimes later on when you start to do different bits, you can interfere a little bit. Uh, the other thing I can do whilst I'm here is just slip my walls and attach the base. And 
to just send the walls up to the top there. And that's how you create a, a basic form uh, of, of a roof. Um, we can change that if we want. So if we want to go something slightly bit more intricate, we can delete that. Uh, we can start again, so back to zero, uh, sorry, level zero, back into massing and site, uh, in place mass, we can call this roof two. And again, reference planes, one down this end. And we're gonna call that reference plane number one again. Another one down this end. And I'm gonna go and say number two. And then once I've done that, into the section one, go into reference line. Again, click on name, click on none, uh, click down to reference plane number one. And we can start drawing something different. So we can start using some of these different uh, drawing tools. One I quite like is this spline. Uh, and you want to take your time on this. I'm going to rush this a little bit so mine won't look very smooth. But you can start getting uh, quite a nice shape by producing loads of different splines for, it, for the arc to follow. And we get another one down there. So you can, you can take your time and get a real nice smooth shape. That one's not too bad. Uh, so with that done, back into 3D, I've got one this end. So I now need to click on that, copy, paste. So it's aligned to the same place. Once I've done that, set the reference plane to reference plane two, hold down the control, click on that one, and then uh, create form at the top there. So I've now got this form, finish the mess. And again, back into architecture back into roof by face and click on the roof itself create roof and then again you can now see um, I've got a, quite an interesting shape roof um, with which to work with so with that I'm going to get attached the base just to finish that off and then we've got an, quite an interesting shape roof rather than just a flat one or a pitched roof and that is how you uh, create uh, roof different roof shapes using the massing tool within Revit.